If you've seen some of the original Novation circuit videos on this channel, you'll know that I took the drum tracks on the circuit and let you play melodies with pitched samples on them, something you can't do with the Novation circuit out of the box. So I think it's only fair that with a mono station, a synth designed to play melodies, I'll create a template that lets you turn it into an analog drum machine. Now these sounds aren't designed as regular sound patches, but rather as parameter locked steps in a pattern which you can copy around to create longer sequences. And the beauty of analog drums is that you can shape each and every one of them, just hit record, and you can mess around with each of the synth parameters for that particular sound for that particular step. Now, unfortunately, the filter mode is something you can't parameter lock, at least not currently in version 1.1. So I chose a high pass filter for all the sounds because you have to make that choice. You can parameter lock distortion if you like. And even though the filter is uh, set to high pass, I can still create a pitch modulation using the envelope as a source and the self-resonating filter cutoff point as a destination to create nice, deep and varied kick sounds. And you can mess around with these sounds. Here I'm playing around with the depth of the envelope modulation or the speed of the attack or speed of decay. Time machine all the way back to the 80s. You can really endlessly shape any one of these sounds any way you like. So each of these drum sounds is parameter locked into one of the steps of the pattern that you can download in the template. And if you want to change it, just hit record and again, make the change you like. I've tried to keep the modulation simple here. You'll see as I change patches or steps in the pattern, the lights changing are mainly uh, attack and decay. I've used the LFO occasionally here set to square wave LFO, and you can play with the uh, LFO rate to create different types of effects. Just make sure record is pressed, otherwise your changes won't be saved. Okay, so now that we've got the basic sounds, how do we make a beat out of this? So I'll duplicate the pattern into a new slot. Let me check that all my sounds are here. Okay. Now let's say I want to use these two sounds and I want them to repeat in the beat. So sequencing is done using shift clear, which is duplicate. And I'll just take the sounds I want, copy them from their location to where I want them to be. So now I've got my two sounds here. Now I'll pick a kick. I'll take uh, this one. Yep. Now I copy it to the locations I want it to be. Finally, hi-hats, I'll use this one, copy it to all the locations I want it. And here's the beat. Now, when working with this template, you have to be mindful of what you're copying and what you're pasting and where because you're overriding patches. That's why I copied the pattern into an empty slot before making changes. And as long as the record button is off, you can make a lot of changes completely non-destructively and the beat just goes back to normal immediately after you stop making a change. So that's it. Subscribe if you want to see more. There's a link to the template below in the description. Thanks for watching.